In the episode number 123 of the ASAP Tech News, we talk about the latest NVIDIA graphics card driver, Game Diaz has a new high-end air CPU cooler, Thermalright launches a massive M.2 SSD heatsink and Genesis launches new mouse mats. We start with NVIDIA and their latest graphics card driver, Nomad version 531.61. This new driver release brings out support for two new video games, Star Wars Jedi Survivor and Dead Island 2. In addition to day one support for these games, we get a few fixes for already known issues. With Immortals, Phoenix Rising is randomly crashing to desktop after the update is no longer a problem, Shadow Play incorrectly getting engaged within EA Play application, and with Counter-Strike 2 enabling Reflex may reduce performance. However, with this release there are plenty of open issues left unresolved, more than the actually fixed issues. As is the case with all NVIDIA drivers, I have already installed this driver on my system and nothing new to report. No new features or performance gains, but nothing got broken, so that's a win in my book. Next, Gam Diaz launches the Boreas P1 720, a dual fin stack CPU cooler that sports two fans and no less than seven copper made heat pipes alongside a dual tower heatsink. The fans included with this CPU cooler have different sizes. One is a regular 120, while the other one is a regular 145mm. As is the case with all CPU coolers that use a dual tower heatsink design, this CPU cooler can handle up to three fans at the same time. Not sure about which size that you can fit on the heatsink but that will be settled once the review units roll out. This CPU cooler has a TDP rating of 270 watts and an unknown price at this time. However, if it's cheap enough and easier to install than the competition, this CPU cooler might just become the new king in terms of bargain to performance ratio. We continue with Telmar Wright and their new M.2 SSD heatsink, the HR10 Pro. This new SSD heatsink is made to be used on both current SSDs and the upcoming PCIe 5.0 SSDs that are rumored to run very hot. What is interesting about this heatsink is not only its generous dimensions, for an M.2 SSD heatsink that is, but the integrated 30mm PWM fan that is doing the active cooling. Other features of the heatsink include four copper made heat pipes, each with an outer diameter of 5mm and plenty of aluminum made cooling fins. This entire cooling system weighs in at no less than 95 grams. Unfortunately, the included 30mm fan has a maximum rated speed of 6500 rpm, which means one thing, that this fan will not be quiet at all. No price has been mentioned yet. And finally, Genesis has launched two new gaming mouse mats, the Genesis Carbon 500 Maxi Flash G2 and the Lava G2. These new mouse mats are dedicated for gaming usage and come in a large size, with a length of 90cm and a width of 45cm. The top surface is made from soft material that is also splash resistant and easy to clean. The edges of these mats are stitched together and should prove to be more reliable at glued edges. The underside of the mats is made from the usual rubber that will provide a good grip on any surface and prevent any scratches from occurring. And this is the end of the episode number 123 of the ASAP Tech News, one of the few tech news series which aims to deliver you the news as fast as possible for your convenience.